Hey guys, last week I showed you how I upgraded my Artillery Genius Pro printer. I updated the firmware. This week I want to show you how I'm going to update the TFT firmware. The TFT firmware runs on a different set of firmware uh, tools and binary and we need to install that separately. So this week I'm going to show you how to do that. I promise you this is a lot simpler than updating the firmware on the machine. Now, as you can see by my machine over here, on the screen I have got Chinese writing. So I got a, a replacement screen uh, when I got the machine, the, the uh, display was not working well. I got a replacement screen and I have never updated the firmware to update from uh, Chinese to English. So, and my Chinese is terrible. Well, actually it's not existent. I cannot speak or read at all. So yeah, this is just basically going on the pictures and by experience. So. I'm going to update this now and I'll show you how to do it. It's really quite easy. The first thing we need is a little SD card. Now, I suggest your SD card is uh, no bigger than 8 gigabytes because we want to format this as a FAT32. Make sure that it's formatted as a FAT32. And then I just need to have a little reader here to plug it into my laptop. So I'll plug this into my USB port. My drive is empty at the moment, but if it's not, just empty it out. And the best way to do that is to format it to clean it up. So I'm going to go right click. I'm going to click on format. Make sure that it says FAT32. And I'm going to start the format. Make sure you're on the right drive. You don't format your C drive. And there it formats and it's done. So once you've finished and done, you can click OK and close. We are now going to open up the artillery site and we will go to their downloads page again. Luckily, they are pretty good at having most of the things that we need on their downloads page and they keep this up to date. At the bottom here, I've got the Artillery Genius Pro TFT version 3.2.6. So let's click on our Artillery Genius Pro and we'll open up to a Google Drive with all the files and we click on download. It will then say we can then save it to our artillery uh, to a file or a, a folder where you know it is and we save it there we then open and i'm going to extract all once it extracts it's rather large because it's got all the images that you need for your tft in there uh, we're going to then delete the zip file just to make things not complicated in my folder here, I have got all the files that we are going to be using for this. Um, for this, I'm going to copy this entire, the entire directory. So every subfolder, every file in there, I'm going to copy that across to my USB drive. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it there. And while that's copying across, please, if you like what we're doing here, please hit me with a subscribe. Uh, if you like what the video is doing, hit a like at the end of the video and uh, just keep following me. Yeah, the channel is growing. Super excited where this is going and I love the new studio. Okay, so those are all copied across to my USB drive. I'm going to confirm that I have everything there. Once I have that, I'm going to eject the drive for safety. Uh, it's always safer to eject the drive so you don't corrupt it and you don't have problems after that. So there we go. I have ejected the drive. I'm going to pull it out of my laptop. And I'm going to take this SD drive and we're going to pop it into the machine. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to turn the machine off because you need to have it off in order to flash it. So I'm going to turn it off, wait for the screen to go off. I'm going to pop the SD card in there, right? And then we power it up. When we power it up, it will read that there is a new firmware there and it will start to update the screen. So we turn it back on. And as you can see by the screen, it's saying updating and the percentage of it updating. It'll flash all the files that are required and install everything. It will do all the steps for you. Literally, you just sit here and watch it and make sure that everything is working. Once it's finished with its flash, the machine should automatically restart and we'll have the new firmware, the new uh, TFT firmware installed. Okay, it is done. It is loaded, all of that. It's now complete and the machines should automatically restart on its own. Give it a second. There we go. And let's hope that we are English now. And we are. So we have successfully updated the firmware. And as you can see, I've got tools all written in English and I have the latest version of the firmware on here. If you want to verify that it has properly flashed, which I know because mine has gone from Chinese to English, but we can go into the set about 
and it will show you the latest version there. And now we know we are complete. So as you can see, guys, that was a lot easier than the last video that we did with updating the firmware. Uh, if you've got any questions, please post down in the, the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you and help you out with any issues you are having. I will post the links to the file in the description. And again, subscribe if you like this video and uh, hit the like button. Really appreciate you guys. Have a great day. God bless and see you soon.